Hello YouTube, it's me here again, a late uh, Saturday afternoon in the UK, very cold today. Um, today we have a Sato FA300T, been uh, converted to um, full gas with the uh, magnet ring center bracket, uh, usual um, normal twin ignition system. Um, this one I managed to fit a carb bracket on here. This is a gas carb As you can see there, so replace the original glow. This one was a bit more Tricky to make um, the most complicated one I make so far um, since I've been doing conversion um, but It's finally finished um, Run this engine a bit earlier um, it runs really fine. I tested it with a um, a 13 millimeter Venturi carb. It does not like that. Um, it idles fine, but on the top RPM, it's intend to want to cut out. So you need to lean out a bit more. But the carb don't have enough um, adjuster to turn the screw all the way out before the screw solder come out from the uh, the carb needles. So I put this carb on, this is my other carb that I usually use for small gas engine. This one is a 9mm Venturi, um, which is perfect, um, idles really happily about uh, between anywhere to 12 or 1300. Top RPM I'm getting is 5200 with this prop, it's a 23 by 10 which is way over big for this um, engine. Uh, the engine is really quiet. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but it's really quiet. Idles really nice on both cylinders. Runs really cool as well. Um, so, as what I said, um, it's a complete kit now, complete full gas conversion. Comes with your gas carb and uh, your sensor and magnet and ignition to spark plugs. So there will be links in the description of this video where you will find. Uh, you just click on them and take you to my website. For either you could get the ring by itself and the car by itself, and you could use whatever ignition you want, or you could get everything as a complete package. Um, it's really cold and windy today. It's Almost uh, five o'clock. It's getting dark now. Really late video. I do have two more videos to do tomorrow. Start a bit earlier. So, enough for the talking. Um, so the ignition I'm have I'm running here is RCXL as well. I do use CH ignition. This one's rated from six volts right up to twelve volts. So two cell lipo, no regulator needed, or three cell lipo, no regulator needed for these um, new ignition. Um, really handy so I have a two cell um, 3000 milliamp here so I'm just gonna plug that in and um, yeah power is on I'm gonna use my starter because I can't feel my fingers at the moment fingers are really cold so it's safer to use this um, this starter here so there it goes
very low idle there, so just cut out, give it another start. Oops. As you can see, it's idle and steady there, um, really low between a uh, 9 and a uh, 1000 RPM. Um, engine can just look really happily. Um, I'm happy with this uh, setup. I'll show the uh, customers the uh, time of the night. So I show um, Bill who send it for me, um, that's my good customer of mine he's going to be very happy with this um, engine I think he bought it second hand and the owner done a repair on it here I didn't know what was the damage but he said it's fine and it seems to be fine I haven't seen any fractured or anything from the repair so um, so as you could see the transition is really good top RPM I'm getting with this prop it's a big prop 23 by 10 5200 um, the prop is way overkill um, uh, so as well the gas carb is available so you check in the description of the video find links click on it and it will take you straight to the conversion for your Sato FA 300T okay stay tuned for more videos to come I do have a uh, Sato FA um, 125 with a full gas conversion coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Okay, cheers, bye.